So Michael, I saw a very interesting video in YouTube about sharing the messages. Can you give us a little bit more information about that? A little bit more details? How can we connect to those messages? Yes, of course. Before I'm going to explain, I would like to make a connection from the book of the Zohar. I'm going to read from a portion of the Chukotai, verse 13. If you have the Zohar, you can always uh, read the English translation. If you don't have the full Zohar, you can always go to zohar.com and you can find it also over there. Ve'alda bechulhu ketiv Elohim. Ve'yavo Elohim el Bilam, ve'yavo Elohim el Lavan. Ve'yavo Elohim el Avimelech. Hu ata legabai hu, ve'lav inun legabe. Ve'halet lehu atar zamin. Ve'itema ha-ketiv Elohim. Ela shema da ishtataf bechola. Ve'afilu avoda zara name Elohim ikare. Elohim acherim. Uvichlala de Elohim Acherim Ilen Memanan, Uvichlala da Havo, Uviginkach Ikere Hache, Vehura Shahava Amar, Beharashoi, Vekare Le, Vatelegabe, Uviginkach Ketiv, Linu Pohalaila, Vashivoti et Hem Davar, Kashere de Beradonai Elai, Aura Shah Kame Shabach Garme, Dehala Ketiv Be, Ela, Vayavo Elohim. So, for us to connect with the messages, it's something we need to start to be aware about and we need to start to work on. And what does it mean by that? You know, when talking about messages, most of the time if we pay attention to our consciousness, we either live in, in the past, we're thinking what's happened in the past, or we worried about the future or what I should do in the future and all of those thoughts. And the Kabbalists explain, you know, one of the main things we should do every day it's to bring ourselves to the present time because the past and the future they are right now in this moment each moment of our life is very very special and if we are people that need to make decisions if we are people that need to pay attention to our thoughts i have to be aware if my thoughts right now belong to the past or to the future so if it belongs to the past or the future I'm not living in the present time. I think I am, but I'm not. Because I'm still dealing with the past or the future. The Kabbalah is saying, pay attention, first of all, first point, the first suggestion, pay attention to your thoughts. Where are you right now? You know, many times the person can drive and he's not in the car. Physically, yes. Mentally and spiritually, no. He can be busy with other stuff. And we know it. Many times it happened to us. We arrive in home and said, oh, how I get here? You know, we don't remember what's happening along the way, right? That's actually scary and dangerous, right? We need to pay attention. So I want to bring myself, if I'm, if I'm driving, I need to be present by dri while driving. If I'm eating, I want to bring myself to the present time, I'm right now eating. Whatever we are doing, we scan in the Zohar, we study, whatever we are doing, I want to be present, okay? Now, another thing that the, the Kabbalists uh, explained about, about our thoughts, you know, we need to pay attention after I bring myself to the present time to the first thought because the first thought the Kabbalists explain come from the light the second thought come from the opponent come from the negative side we know we have the good inclination and the evil inclination and we have those two voices that is talking to us during the day right so one of the things we should start to to do actually is to practice to listen more and more and to raise the volume of the first thought. I'll give you an example. You know, many times it happened to us, let's say, for example, random example. We have an argument with someone or disagreement with someone, right? And we live in the scenario and we're driving back home. And while we're driving, we start to think about it. And we start to think about, you know, I should say that, I should behave like that. I shouldn't scream, I shouldn't behave like that. And we start to feel like, you know, more compassion for the situation. We're coming home and we're deciding to dial to the person to say, maybe I'm sorry, or I, 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 could, I could say it in a different way. While we're dialing, suddenly a thought comes and tells us, no, what are you doing? Are you weak? The person will start to think that you are weak, that you're not, uh, you know, you, you not agree, or whatever those negative thoughts come into our mind about ourselves, about what a person will say, and we stop and we're not dialing. That is the second thought. It's mean the second thought was much more stronger than the first thought because the second thought came from where? Came from my negative ego. And I'm afraid that I'm going to hurt. But you know what? 
to say I'm sorry or to forgive someone or to say I was wrong doesn't show about weakness. It's showing that I'm a strong person, that I want the blessings. So by me listening to the first thought, it will make me stronger, will make me a person that will follow more and more my thoughts from the light of the Creator and will help me to prepare my vessel to receive more blessings. And that's what I mentioned, you know, in the previous video, that many times we have those positive thoughts. And we think that, you know, if I'm going to say it, you know, what people will think about me, maybe they know it, maybe they will think I'm stupid, maybe I'm not smart enough, all of those ego thoughts. But we need to stop being afraid. We need to be people that I want to share, I want to help. I want to be that leader that brings unity, love, compassion, human dignity to my surroundings. And if I will do that, I start to have the impact to help other people. And imagine how many people they can help because of my help. So I hope I answered the question. And if you have more questions, please, you can leave the, leave the question in the comment. And if you like this video and it helped you, please share, like, and let's help to spread good thoughts, good and positive thinking, and to bring unity, love, and peace to ourselves, to our surroundings, and for the entire world.